Hello, and welcome back to the point-and-click adventure game called Barrow Hill. This is video two, and I have decided to continue this series because uh, when I asked you if you wanted me to continue it or not, it was mostly positive, and actually a few of you have played the game before, so you said that uh, the game's kind of slow, it's got a slow build-up, but it's kind of alright, so kind of alright's good enough for me. I'm intrigued enough. Okay, so we got this guy in the office who just won't shut up, apparently. Why? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Well, what is gonna happen is I'm gonna go into the cafe. Alright. A few of you have left some sort of like hints and tips for me. Uh, you know, sort of like basic stuff like explore, try and find the lantern, get a light source like that. What's this? Some sort of cup of tea, maybe? Co coffee? Tea, probably. Okay. I can pick up that cup, put it back, put it right back down again. Yeah, we'll take the spray. No. I don't take them, I just pick them up and look at them. I can <laughs> I can do it with these two cups, but for some reason I'll leave that one out, because, I don't know, I'm like racist or something. Anyway, uh, can I play with the light switches? No. I can have a look at the painting of the sunflowers. That's nice. Let's turn around. Just going into every single screen I can, just looking for, well, things like this. I mean, what, what am I doing here? I'm looking out the window. I'm looking out the window to see all the stuff lying in front of the car. Strange. Yeah, so I took that blue uh, blue wax crayon. I'm not really sure why, but I'm sure it's got a purpose. It must have a purpose. So, okay. Uh... Oh, you can actually open that door, but of course the tray's in the way, so... I'm not getting through there. Fair enough, that's kind of nice. Alright, let's just keep going. Let's have a look at the table to my right, if possible. Yep. Looks like uh, something spilt. It's, what, the vinegar? Ew, I'm poking it or something. That's not how liquid should react, but okay. Um, yeah, that's that's that. I don't think I can do anything else with it. So, I'm going to leave that. Let's go back to the same screen, no matter what I look at. So, ah, have a look out the other window, for some reason. Very nice. So, unless I'm mistaken, there's nothing else here. Let's turn to the left. Um... Let's see. Oh, I can go on the other side of this sort of like divider, this the uh, this wall here. So I can go around there. I kind of want to have a look at these other tables though, just in case. And the chair that's fallen onto the floor. But it appears to have no purpose whatsoever other than me looking at it because I can't interact with it in any way, shape or form. Brilliant. Okay, well. Um, let's see. Emergency exit out there. I don't want to leave quite yet, obviously. Another table to look at. I've got a menu. Oh, I can use the menu. Oh, I can move the menu to look at the pepper. Can I take the pepper? No. What about the salt? I... Ah. I can use the salt in some way because I'm getting that weird sort of uh, item interaction thing. Or at least that's what I think it is. So... Um, use wax crayon with salt. Use matches with salt. I don't know if I, I drag them. I don't think I can drag. I think I just have to click on them. But either way, you know, that's obviously not going to work because well, what the hell would I be doing with wax crayon and salt? I don't know. Uh, let's just back out of this, I think. There's some salt on the table. I might need to use that at some point. Anything else? I mean, that's just the emergency exit, so the other table. Okay, what's this? Arthurian Legends. Looks like there's something just below it as well. A cryptic crossword that's barely been completed. Can I write that in myself? Do I have to do the crossword? Is this like a clue? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, if you want to have a go at that cryptic crossword yourself, go for it. I don't believe I can do it, so I'm just going to leave that where it is. Oh, maybe if I took the pen? No, I, I can't take the pen. What about the sandwich? No. Energy drink? No. Cake. Ah, I can take the cake. No, I can't. I just pick it up and look at it and put it back down. What about the cigarettes? Oh, I can. Again, just put it back down. Yep. What's this? Mary Ann Fashions. Sawpoint Cornwall. Top fashion for a lady of today. Autumn sale. You know, I think I'm going to pass. What's this? Okay. Ben, thank you for the flowers you left me. They were a lovely surprise. You know how much work I've been putting into my night course. With the exam over, I look forward to finding out how I've scored. 
Wish me luck. I was wondering if you'd like to go out and celebrate, or not, as the case may be, when I get the results. I'm sure George will let you have a night off. M. M. Who's who would M be? I take this. Nope. Okay. Lots of things I can look at, but nothing I can really interact with. Again, I, I'm not really sure looking at these paintings is of any use whatsoever, but it's kind of nice, I suppose. All right, so that's all the tables looked at, I think. What else we got? Just stuff over here. Some more cakes, cups of coffee, stuff like that. Ah. Well, that's just the menu. Isn't that going to come in? Uh... Blimey, look at those prices. A lot changes. Damn. It's almost double that now sometimes. Ah, oh, well. Let's see what we got. What have we got here? We've got cakes here! And I can take them? No? No? I... Why can I do this? <laughs> it's infuriating. I can just take the, the top off, but I can't do anything with the actual cakes. It's just pointless, essentially. Fair enough. Ah. £2.60. Let's have a look. What the hell did they have for £2.60? There's actually nothing for £2.60, so they had some sort of combination. Just to be bloody awkward. Okay. Uh, that is the till, right? So let's go around the other side. Maybe I can get some money out of it. At the very least. So let's go this way. Okay. The notice board. A door to somewhere. There's the till. Let's have a look. Ah. Oh, you see, I can actually use the tray. Match matches? <laughs> no. Wax crayon? No. What's this? Ben, can you deliver Phil's dinner to Motel Room 2 tonight at 6.30? He said he'll be out in his evening rounds of the dig site. So just leave it for him when he gets back in. Don't forget. The lock is set to 662. Remember, the asterisk and hash keys reset the lock. G. Thanks, G. So, okay. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere now. So, motel room 2, 662. I should be writing this down, but I think I can remember that, really. Okay, I will, uh, I'll investigate that at some point. Can I use the till in any way? No, not yet anyway. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, I, yeah, I just go back to that same screen. Okay, so got a door here. It's open. I could go through, but I'm not going to quite yet. Let's see. More cakes, strawberry tarts. Oh, I actually took a bite out of one. Oh, I'm so cheeky. And yet I, I put it back down. I just must have threw it back up and molded it back together because I didn't really like it. What do we got here then? I mean, oh, I can take one of these. Don't fancy taking a bite out of that one though. Or well, that one. I just like to twist it round. This makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> just certain things you can pick up for no reason. Okay, well, uh, got some sort of like coffee maker. Yeah, well, I can sort of use it, kind of. No reason to. Let's have a look at the notice board if possible. Yeah, okay. So, okay, going from the top left. To all staff, please note that fake £10 notes are circulating in this area. Any notes accepted will be deducted from pay. Seriously? Is the note blurred? Does the note feel thin or fat? Is the note blank? Is the note in English? Is the note rectangular? Basic stuff, people. Basic stuff. What number for Babs Cabs? Anytime, anywhere. What about now? Edward Briss. Ooh. Local pasties and sausages. Alright. Um, some sort of rotor list, I think. So we've got Ben, Ma oh, M must be Maggie. There's Ben, there's Carol, and there's George. Okay. Presumably, I, well, I, I assume Ben or George is in the office. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know what his name is. Um, what's this? What have we got? Okay, I'm going to read this one. Ben, Maggie has phoned in sick today and Carol is still on holiday. I should be here during the day, working in the office while it's quiet. I can cover your role in, on the pumps if you can work in the kitchen. The washing up can wait till tomorrow, if you're too busy. Mr. Morse has also requested that you keep the volume down on that radio. I know the evening shift can be boring, but try to keep the noise down a little as the poor guy is trying to sleep. Please have a tidy up and vacuum this evening. G. Okay, because writing George is way too freaking difficult. So, okay, Mr. Morse. 
Mr. Morse. Okay. School disco, everybody. Hardcore trance for five... No, no. Six days. November the 2nd to the 7th. The bunker, Dulo Cornwall. That's probably a real place. DJs, doormat. Doormat and, and Boxy. Boxy, Jesus Christ. A.K.A. Lady Adastra. I'm just going to ignore that. Okay, well, there, there we go. Now, let's go in here. This is the kitchen, isn't it? Looks like it. It's a bit dark. I don't think I can actually... Oh, hang on. I can interact with something. What is this? Matches. I have matches. Ah! It's the lantern! Right, I... Well, it's not exactly the lantern style I was expecting, but okay. Uh... How would I go about using this? I can turn it round. Use matches? No. I need to find... Uh... Okay. Turn that round, turn it round. Ah! There we go, I was looking for that icon. Now, do I use the matches now? Ah! Cat's matches! Okay! I have to do it manually. I got a match. Let's strike it. Hey! There you go! Okay! Alright! This is actually kind of fun now. And I've got a lantern. I've actually got the lantern. So now I can see in dark areas. Which means I can explore back up where the car was, really. So that's kind of cool. So does that mean I can look around this place? It doesn't look like I can move from the door, strangely. There's another door over there, but I can't go forward for some reason. The lights aren't on. Maybe I can... Ah, there's a light switch. I can't interact with that either. What's this? What is this? Let's have a look. Oh, fuses. Left to right. There's lobby, cafe lights, cafe main. And four and five are kitchen lights and kitchen main. So the kitchen lights aren't working. So, uh... So that would be number four. Right. Yep. Just turn it off. Okay. Take it out. What's up? Okay, I just took the casing off of it. What's this? I can use it. I can pick it up. Nope. Oh, it. Oh, that's like wire, isn't it? I'm, I'm just... I think I'm rewiring the fuse or something. Put the case back on. Did that work? Hey! That works! Okay! <laughs> Alright, I'm very pleased with myself for doing a very simple task. Okay, so I don't need the lantern in here anymore. I wonder, do I have to light it with a match every time I want it on? Oh, I see it's back It's back down there, that's nice. Uh, right, so... Um, I can move now, so let's go this way, I think. So, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to be looking for here. A toaster, frying pans, pots and pans... Anything and everything at this point, I suppose. There's a blender. I can use the blender. I can take the lid off the blender and I can put in a wax crayon. No. Matches. I don't want to put the lantern in. But no, I, I will at some point be able to put something in that blender. Can't, like, flick the switch or anything, but I can definitely put something in. Okay, uh, let's just leave this screen for a sec. I don't believe there's anything here, so let's go on and to the right. Another toaster, more pots and pans and stuff. Nothing that interesting. Warm water game fish identif identification chart. Brilliant. Don't know too much about that. You can zoom in. Ah, what's down here? There's the handle there. I can't seem to pull it down. <laughs> you see, I, I don't really get why you would want to look at something that you can't interact with. It's very strange. Uh, okay, so if there's nothing else, let's just keep going around to the right. An uncooked egg <laughs> could be murder. Do not kill your customers. Ah, oh, I knew there was something I was forgetting. That, if that poster wasn't there, I would have been a mass murderer, seriously. I can open the cupboard. I can look at a basket. No, I, I can actually take the basket. Okay. Cool. What about all this stuff up here? Oxtail soup. Some sort of like peeled potatoes. Tins of stuff. No, not a fan for some reason. Why would I have a basket? 
Obviously I want to put something in the basket, but what would I want to put in the basket? Hmm. Uh, what about... Ah, uh, here we go. Can have a look at this. Sh these two shelves here. More of the same stuff. Processed peas. I don't think I can interact with any of these, unfortunately. Something in the microwave? No, what's this? Finest sandstone kitchenware egg cups. I can take the top off. I can have a look at them. I can take them all. Right? I've got egg cups. So, I'm going to be collecting eggs at some point, I guess. Uh, maybe. I, I don't really understand quite yet, but... You know, I know that an uncooked egg could be murder. I know not to kill your customers. And it just reminds me to wash my hands. That's nice. Uh, anything around on this sort of like shelf here? I am looking at something. Ah! There's a cupboard open. Look inside the box. A couple of cups. Something there. Can't interact with it. Never mind. Uh, okay. Sure. Fine. Can't seem to look inside the cupboard. Maybe I need to be at a different angle. So let's go forward. Um, I'll look at this area first. Let's see. Take any of that. There's a radio here. Any of that? Look at... Look at the radio. Let's turn it on. Yep. Yeah. What station? Oh, something. Nah, come on, it's got to be something better than that. It's not a lot on. You're looking good these days. Oh boy. Your hair's starting to thin. Worst times not caught up with you. Well, Jim, it's all down to my new shampoo. It brings my hair. Ah, oh, look at this. And makes me feel more youthful. Okay, I can use something down here. I don't know what it would be though. On a like a chopping board. There's a pestle and mortar there as well. So the wax crayon. I'm going to try and use the wax crayon on everything at the moment. The basket. Ah, oh, shit, the basket. It's the basket. I, unfortunately, I don't have anything in the basket, so I'm not, like, putting anything on the chopping board. There's no reason for me to, like, do this at the moment, so... Let's look inside the bin. Put something in the bin. I don't know. Oh, my God. What, what the hell is this on the radio? Let's just, just keep going. There's got to be something better than this. Right, well that's that's somewhat better, although it's gonna get fucking tiring. So this this door's padlocked, is it? Fine. What would, what would be behind that then? Hmm. So what else we got? We've got the oven here. Okay. Can I interact with it? Oh, oh I can! Oh each hob individually as well. Cool, okay, well, I'm obviously going to need that for some reason. Look at the clock. It's about 5 to 8, apparently. I don't have a reflection. Am I a vampire? Serious question. I think that's all we're going to get. There's this fucking music, though. No. You've got nothing to lose by sticking to your guns, except the what is this? you have managed to retain recently. This month's Path of Mercury and Saturn... Oh, not horoscopes, no. And this is Emma Harry, back on the air again after that power cut. I can't... I'll be your nightlight till around about one o'clock. So oh, I'm locked into this. Any more power out. I've braved outside to fire up the generator and I'm up and running under my own steam. Hi tonight at the BHR station, alone here on Barrow Hill. Though I could swear I saw someone up here with me a moment ago. <laughs> with a little bit less daylight this time of year, you can imagine anything in that ever-increasing darkness. Why not give me a call and say hello on 585? And in case you've forgotten, it's 20, the autumn equinox, the beginning of autumn. Or for those from across the pond, the beginning of fall. And while the daylight hours are dwindling, there's a Harvest Festival celebration tomorrow down by the harbour. But if you're so excited you can't sleep, well, stay up with me and I'll figure out some way to keep you occupied. Thanks, Lucy. 
I was locked into that. That must have been, like, part of the story or something. In fact, I still can't, like, go to the menu right now. So am I, am I forced to listen to this or something? No? I can come out of it now. And I go back to the menu. That's strange. I like the fact that uh, Lucy, or Emma as she likes to be called in this game, uh, went on to talk about a phone number and then it, for some reason it just sort of like fizzled out and I couldn't quite get to the end of that. I like that. Um, I, I don't know, honestly. I, is there anything else to do here? I mean, I've got the lantern. I think that was the main, part, the main point. I can't seem to get through there. Look at the fire extinguisher, I guess. But again, just like the one outside, I can't inter interact with it in any way, shape, or form, so I don't really know why. Weird. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just go. Um, where should we go? Where should we go? Let's go out. Now, hang on. Wait. There was this, wasn't there? The Motel Room 2, 662. Let's go there next, I think. So, let's leave through the... Uh, through here. So, where does this take me? It's just out by the... The very tiny little playground on the edge of the grass. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. So, if I go this way and up here. Turn around. Uh, it was number two. So, here we go. Let's try it. Six, six, two. It's open. Okay, it worked. Let's go in. I'm kind of like breaking and entering at this point. but Doesn't look like he's home. Okay. What have you got? That's, oh, that's the thing I passed. That's, uh, what was it called? Annika's Well, I think it was called. It was on a postcard. Gavrock, one of the stones uh, on Barrow Hill, I think. According to George, anyway. Um, great, I can see... I can see his sink. That is fascinating. I'm going to back out of that. I can't mess with the light switch. Can I sit on the toilet? No, oh, that's the first toilet I haven't been able to sit on. Terrible. Uh, to the left. Some stuff on the bed. Let's see. To the right. Uh, let's look over here. What we got on the what we got on this wall here? Some sort of map. Trying to work out where that would be. Um, oh, you know what? I think this area here is actually us. So we're probably here. Yeah, that makes sense. There's three motel rooms. There's the cafe over here, the petrol station area. Uh, this is like the garage and the ladies and the gents. So yeah, we're here. So, okay. This is this is the game area, is it? I came from down here to the right. That was where Annika's well is. Uh, it looks like I can go into the forest here. That was too dark before, but now I've got the lantern. I could try that again. And I keep going, and I go up the hill, and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like the seven stones of Barrow Hill are there. Okay. And there's a couple of places down the road as well. You know, all of which I'll get to at some point, I'm sure. But that's kind of nice. That's kind of neat. Oh, there's another radio. Can I can I listen to Emma Harry again? What was she on? Like 14, 15, something like that? Let's turn it on. <laughs> the, same song, the same song is still going. I love it. No more horoscopes. No. Ahoy, mateys. This there is DHR. It's Emma Harry beaming a signal across the sea from the crew and the Jolly Sailor. Fishing 15 miles out tonight. Here's a warm hello and keep a watch out for any dark clouds heading in from the west. I haven't rechecked with the weatherman just yet, so I can't say for sure about that rain. But there's a bright moon in the sky and a gentle breeze. You can almost smell that equinox. <coughs> Quiet, Mincy. I'm Emma Harry. And if you don't have anything to do right now, I'll be right here playing music all through the witching hour till about one o'clock. Wincy's here to keep me company, grinning like a Cheshire cat. And I'm here to keep you company. We've got a caller on the line. Hello, you're live on air at BHR. Get away, get away. No, no, <laughs> save me. You've got to get me out of it's here. It's the guy in the office. It's here. I saw it from the window. It got them and it's after me too. Ben. It got all of them. We're ben. the only ones left. Oh, he's, he's Ben. Run. Run, don't you 
Ben, he woke something is up. that you? It's here and it's hungry. All those stories, they're all true. Are, are you messing about? Here, being taken for him, taken to it by his own army. They could be anywhere, anything. He controls it all. The Wh rocks, what's going the on? Feeding. I thought I was safe, but I'm not. It's only a matter of time. Get me out. Let me out. It will hear me. That's uh, a little strange. I hope that was a joke. Uh, I'll try and give him a call back. If there are any other late night listeners who want to give me a call, the number, as always, is 585-21. I've got some more music for the rest of you and a few nice surprises coming up. Not least our usual book at bedtime. For those who need to catch up, the Mad Hatter expects you at the tea party. Before that, I'll be ready to check in with the weatherman. In the meantime, relax while I play these songs and messages. Okay, we can come out of this now. Okay, so yeah, either these these radio broadcasts are very very important, or the creator wants us to hear her voice like so badly. Um, I noticed that she gave out a little bit more of the phone number actually. Uh, it's uh, five eight five twenty one. Uh, the last few numbers obviously, you know, got lost in translation unfortunately. But I I just maybe I'll eventually will get a phone number. Don't know. Anyway, what else we got? What's this? What's in the box? What is this? It's a, a trowel? Oh, it's actually, yeah, it's a trowel, and I've picked up the trowel. Anything else? No. You sure? So there's like arrowheads or something in there, but nope. I don't care for them, apparently. What's in this box? Um, a note. Hi, Pete. Okay, to Pete from Lucy. I'll be reading this after the video's over. Give me a call on five eight five. Okay, well that's that. Um, top drawer. Ah, yes. Oh, is that a phone? It's a phone. Can I steal the phone? It's got low battery, but the phone's a phone. No. Yes, I do have it. I have a mobile phone, but I need uh, I need some battery power. Wait, what was it? Five eight. Ah. ah, I can't use the buttons. It's so low battery, I can't use it, I think. Anything else in the box? Oh, just the same letter. And that's an envelope. Yeah, okay, there's some, like, samples or something down there? I can't really see, though, unfortunately. Alright, let's come out of that. Let's go right. Look out the window. Can't really see anything but a reflection. I'm certain I am a vampire. I should have a reflection of some sort, but I don't. Wait, there's actually something on the bed. Oh, there's a couple of things, actually. Well, apart from the shoe, uh, a couple of drawings. Um, I'm not really sure where that is. And that's Annika's well again, I'm certain of that. What's this? A wallet? No, a bit bigger than a wallet. It's a journal of Pete Aston. So Pete Aston, okay. That's who, that's who is residing here. Alright. So we're going to give you, like, five seconds a page, I guess. I just didn't shut up, did he? Give me a call on five eight five. There we go. Twenty one. Five eight five twenty one. <sighs> just tuned in. You're listening to Emma Harry on BHR. I'm I sure this journal is very relevant, but I'm kind of hoping that it, it doesn't Have affect me right now because I won't be able to look at it uh, until this video's over. It's wow. This guy just does not stop writing, does he? Wow, so we're on September the 5th now, so it's been a while, a couple of months. Subject to confirmation, not to be used at high altitudes or a substitute for lubricant. May contain nuts. Fabulous, 15.3. A warm hello to any late night listeners out there. And there's that drawing of Annika's well again. And that is the end of the channel, so I am going to be taking a lot of time to read that. Uh, was it good? 
tell me in the comments, was that good? Was that is was there relevant information there? Is it actually worth a read? I'm gonna read it anyway, but you know. Uh let's see. Let's come out of that. I don't think there's anything else. There's like a bedside table though. Okay. Um Presumably one of the trenches he was talking about. If this is at Barrow Hill, where the seven rocks are, it looks like these rocks have got loads of symbols on them. That's kind of creepy, I guess. Oh well. What's this? Oh, 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 oh! It's a mobile phone charger! Of course. Hang on. Hold on. Who just drove away? Was that Ben? Hang on. Can't really see anything, it's terrible, but I'm fairly certain that was an engine. Someone was speeding off there. That car's still there. That car's still over here with its engine running. I didn't see another one. Maybe it was just passing by? Hmm. Oh well, let's get back into the room. I still a few things I hadn't seen yet. So six six two. Yeah, my memory's not failing me quite yet. Give me a call. Five eight five. So, okay, go back here. Is the phone done? I searched along. The phone's done. Charge complete. I hope you remember. Okay, I'll take it back. Uh, can I use the phone then? Yes, but no. There's no signal, and I still can't press the buttons because there's no signal. So I need to fix that problem as well. Okay. Why do I feel like all these radio messages is are like, you know, two people putting on about ten voices? It's kind of funny in a way. Okay, so it's, it's a very similar map to the one across on the other wall. This one's a little bit easier to read for me anyway. So yeah, same stuff. There's an area down there. We haven't actually gone past this sort of bit here, so there's... Or, or any of the forest area, so there's quite a lot to left to explore. Might be more down the road, you never know. But I'm fairly certain that is Barrow Hill up there. That's where the stones are. Okay, uh, a letter to Lucy from Pete. Weird. Lucy, listen. Something very strange is going on here. At first I thought it was my imagination. I'll tell you more in person. Hmm. Okay. Well, I... I believe that could be it, to be honest. Is there something hidden under the pillow, or I can look at any of the other drawers? There's a lot in that journal I need to go through. So at the moment, I think that's pretty much it. Is there anything else past 15? Oh, some classical music, yes. Excellent. Wish I had that on when I was looking, actually. But if there's nothing more I can interact with, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave the radio on and waste the power. Right, so I've got this mobile phone. I've charged it up. No signal, though. That's a bit of a shame, honestly. That is a bit of a shame. I've also got a trowel. I've got a basket. I've got egg cups. But I do have a lantern, so I can explore dark areas, I think. Should we go check on Ben? I think that's the guy's name, Ben. That's what um Emma Harry. I can't I can't call her Emma Harry. I'm gonna call her Lucy Rubens. If you don't know why I'm calling her Lucy Rubens, you haven't watched The Lost Crown. But uh yeah, okay. I'm gonna check on Ben. He may have been the guy who was driving off. Who's that? Nope, he's still here. Oh, it's you. I've been watching you on the CCTV camera. Walking about. Don't you know what's out there? I hear it. The voices in my head. They echo on and on and on. Timeless. Fearless. Faceless. It's heavy with sleep after feeding. It'll wake soon. It'll come for you. It's tracking you. Following your scent. And mine. I hope you're next. Then maybe it'll leave me alone. The shadow moves. Even with that lamp, you'll not get far. It's only a matter of time before it finds you, hunts you down. If I can hide long enough, someone's bound to come. Maybe I can get away. 
And why shouldn't I? Why? Why? Maybe it was you all along. Murderer. Murderer. They were just arriving. They'd just driven in and it caught them. Burnt them. Cut them down as they ran. It happened in seconds. It couldn't have been real. I must have been dreaming. Get away from me! Alright, I'm sorry, man. Sorry. I just came for a bit of comic relief. And I got it. But yeah, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm bothering you. I'm just going to leave. Uh, right, well, what's it? That's what I want to know. What is it? What is following me? What is what is the shadow? What is hunting me? Very strange. Right, well, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to test something. And I think that's probably going to be the end of the, uh, of the video as well, because... I've been playing for quite a while. I am going to test if you can go into the dark areas. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Uh, yes, it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, this is going into the forest. Now, let's try it. Lantern. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we can go into the forest. We can go into darker areas. Presumably Annika's well as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. In part three, we explore the forest. Any hints, tips, or recommendations will be greatly appreciated. Just leave a comment.